If you have hard-shelled pests in your worm bin and you don't want them there, then there's a simple, natural solution to get rid of them. We'll cover that on today's short episode of Coffee and Compost. My name is Steve Churchill, and this is the Urban Worm Company. Your worm bin may attract pests like mites, centipedes, millipedes, roly-polies, beetles, and other arthropods that feature a hard exoskeleton. I want to stress up front that most of these critters are not harmful to your worms and should be seen as fellow composters. We wrote about pests like this in our big book of worm bin problems blog post that you can find in the video description. So these guys are excellent at shredding and fragmenting organic waste, which increases the surface area for bacteria to decompose the waste and make it more consumable for composting worms. So these guys, with a few exceptions, are mostly friendly. But if your worm bin is indoors and part of your agreement with your wife, husband, partner, roommate is having no other bugs in the worm bin, then there is a way to get rid of them and keep domestic peace inside your home. But first, if you're looking for a reliable source of vermicomposting information, please like this video, subscribe, and hit that little bell to be notified of any time we post something new. Okay, so we're gonna use an oddly named powder called diatomaceous earth to do what we can to kill these hard-shelled critters. So what's diatomaceous earth? Well, it's fossilized remains of phytoplankton called diatoms, which are crushed into an incredibly fine powder form. These uh, creatures are, are ancient. This phytoplankton is, is ancient. Uh, the, there's no shortage of this stuff on planet earth. And so I consider it maybe not a renewable resource, but we got plenty of it around. So when you hold diatomaceous earth, also referred to as DE in your hands, it's hard to imagine why this stuff would be lethal to anything. The powder is going to feel super soft to you, but if you check out this picture, each DE particle has an insane amount of jagged edges. And when hard-shelled critters rub up against the DE, these edges scratch the surface of the bug's exoskeleton. And over the course of anywhere from one to about four to five days, the pest will die of dehydration, which sounds like an awful way to go but the worms will be just fine. But here are a few key points when it comes to buying and using diatomaceous earth. First, you must use food grade DE or else it will be harmful to your worms. If you're familiar with DE because you use it in your swimming pool filter, do not use that stuff. Secondly, wear a mask during application. The DE is so fine it would be very easy to inhale it and cause damage to your lungs. Thirdly, DE loses its effectiveness on these pests when it gets wet. So sprinkle it on the surface of your vermicompost. Do not mix it into the top layer of material where it would absorb even more moisture. Fourth, while you're treating your worms with DE, do not add any more of that water-rich food waste. Lastly, and this is the end, understand that DE will kill any insect with an exoskeleton. So if you like seeing the ladybugs in your worm bin, but not the dung beetles, you'll have to choose whether you want to keep them both or say goodbye to them both. Gang, I've been doing vermicomposting now for a little over 10 years and I've made every mistake in the book. I get a lot of emails from you guys from new vermicomposters who are struggling with the same mistakes I did. So I created a short, easy to read guide showing you how to steer clear of the most common rookie vermicomposting mistakes. You should see a link on your screen right about now. Go ahead and click it and sign up for our email list and you can get that guide immediately. It's a quick, easy read and well worth your time. Thanks everybody. I'll see you on the next video.